show. are some people in this world who apparently do not agree with geometric principle that the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. Now, we have just such a young lady in our story tonight. Our story tonight begins in one of those modern office buildings in New York City. Michael Donna, model agency. Oh, hi, Rusty. Listen, Mr. Donna wants to talk to you about a color layout for Lady Beatrice lipstick. A new shade called asbestos. It keeps the flame on your lips from spreading. Are you ready for that? Okay, hon. 3.30 Wednesday. Bye. Now then, ladies. I'd like to leave my pictures for Mr. Donna. What's your name, honey? Jet. Jet? You models in your names. You're getting worse than the wrestlers. Fill out this form, will you, a jet? And uh, what's your name? Uh, Elizabeth Wadlington. Elizabeth Wadlington? What's the matter, honey? No imagination? Well, I, I, I've just begun modeling. Say, why don't you call yourself Bambi? Bambi? Mm, with those doe eyes, it would be terribly effective. Bambi. Okay, Bambi, let's have your statistics. Yes. Michael Donner Model Agency. Oh, Dorian. Yeah, yeah, the plane tickets are in your name. Mr. Donner said you'd probably be in Rio for at least a week and in Acapulco for a week more of just bathing suits. No, no, the Paris trip won't be until late next month. So long. Have fun. Oh, Acapulco, Paris. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. Say, you've been a... Been an usher at a sales girl and a receptionist. Uh, yes, but I, I've always wanted to be a model. Um, will Mr. Donner look at my pictures personally? Sure, he will. That's the part he likes best. Oh. Digging up new models. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Donner, lots of calls. Forget them. Tell Freddie I'm sending a gal in to be photographed at one. The works. She really got it. Are these yours? Why, yes. yes. Uh, what's the gal's name, Mr. Donner, so I can tell Freddie? Oh, I don't know. I just drove across town with her. She was my taxi driver. Great. Last week it was a lady barber. Anyone for lunch? Bambi? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm meeting my sister. Oh, Freddie, the boss has got a new one coming in at one. The works. This time she's a cab driver. Boy, he sure finds them in the darndest places. <laughs> Well, the thing I cannot get over is his looking at my pictures, then looking right straight at me and asking if they were mine. That's what I've been hammering at you for months. Will you be yourself? Oh, you models look exactly alike. Of course he can't tell whether it's you or one of a thousand other doe-eyed gals with a hound dog expression. Yeah, but we're, we're, we're supposed to look alike. Well, then don't gripe if the poor man can't tell you apart. Careful, Grace. Now, poor man. It's his doing it. He discovers all the top models in the country. And when he gets through with them, they look like this. I'm just copying them. You know, I think you've hit the sesame button to this mystery. What? You said when he gets through with them. Yeah. When he gets through with them. If Mr. Donner does the discovering, that's all right. If not, he can't see you for the forest of similar models he's created. How do you know so much about Mr. Donner? Well, he's a man. Like all men, he wants to do the discovering. You mean like Christopher Columbus? Right. Oh, I wish Columbus would discover me. Well, how can he when you've done all the discovering for him? What can he prove with you? Mm. He can't make a model out of you. You're already a model. Well, I've got to get to my work. Pat. You know, you may be right about that. Because when I was in Mr. Donner's office this morning, he came in all excited about discovering a, a lady taxi driver. Sure, I'm right. Remember a guy named Pygmalion? Who? Oh, skip it. Thanks for the lunch, sis. Yeah. Hi, Pat. Well, Mr. Donner. Listen, that radio still sounds like a transatlantic telephone call. Where is the battery? 
Thought you were coming up to see me. Now, Mr. Donner, you never thought anything of the sort. <laughs> okay, I hoped you'd come up to see me. You make a great model, Pat. Look, do I have to say it all over again? Thanks, but no thanks. I I'm very happy with my job. It's one I understand, get a kick out of doing. Modeling's not for me. I thought I was the authority on that subject. You'd be rich, famous, travel all over the world. Looks a little low. I'd better recharge her. Can you pick her up after four? Okay. Okay, Pat. I'll continue my pitch then. Pat! Why didn't you tell me? Because I knew you would have a fit similar to the one you're having. But, 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 but look, he, he wants to make a model out of you. He'd like to take a lady mechanic and turn her into a model, yeah. Oh, here I am just knocking myself out for the chance, and he's begging you. Oh, I could dissolve. Look, a man does not expect a pretty girl to come sliding out from under a car in a service garage. Or, for that matter, to be driving a taxi. So when he does come across a young lady in such unlikely places, if she doesn't look like three days late, he's just bowled over. On the other hand, any girl who walks into Mike Donner's office is there because she's supposed to be beautiful. Automatically, the man has a show-me attitude. Get me? Yeah, I get you. I'd look better under a car. Right. What? We are going to let Columbus discover you. It's dark under here. All right, let's practice. I'm Donner. Yeah, and I'm Liz, girl mechanic. And he's having some trouble starting his car. Yeah. Okay. Honk, honk. Anybody here? Something's wrong with my car. Oh, Mr. Donner. Might I be of some assistance? Yeah, lady. I can't start my car. Well, that's a bore. We can't have anything like that now, can we? Just a sec. I'll give you a look-see. Got a can opener, Pat? Oh, come on, Liz. Play it straight. You're wasting my time. I'd love to, but how do you open this silly lid? Hood. Oh, oh, hood. That's right. I forgot. I remember. Oh, honestly, if you fool anybody. Ooh, that's messy looking in there, isn't it? With a minimum of conversation, please just fix the wire like I showed you. And here. Chip my polish. There. Oh! I did it. I did. Mm. Somehow or other, well, getting rid of these Dior touches might be a step in the right direction. Oh, Pat, I don't have to frighten the man, do I? Oh, there. That's more like it. Okay, now try it again. Oh, no! Can't you see those sparks? Yeah. I thought they were pretty. Not to a mechanic. I like them. At the uh, present time, I'm a little short-handed. Uh, seven of my top models are in the Caribbean on a fashion layout for fortune. Uh, sincerely, Mike Donner. And Doris, uh, make the usual copies. In the seventh at Hialeah, it was Johnny Jump Up, the favorite, winning by a length, paying two to one. Lucky Lady second at eight to one, and Tootsie Roll third, paying three to one. Yes, Doris? Mr. Donner, I have got to talk to you right away. Of course, come right in. Mr. Donner, this is the last straw. Now, Doris, what is this? I'll tell you what this is. It's that taxi driver you sent over to Freddy's to be photographed. She just had a fit, and she practically destroyed Freddy, me, and the studio. She doesn't want to be a model. She never did want to be a model, and she never will be a model any more than that lady barber you dug up last week. Mr. Donner, you have simply got to stop uprooting these girls from jobs they're perfectly happy in and trying to make models out of them. You upset the girls, but, but most of all, you upset me. 
Every day this office is filled to overflowing with young ladies who are simply dying to be models. And some of them would be great. But no. No, you've got to drag in a, a channel swimmer or a chocolate dipper. Well, I've had it. No, now, look, Doris, wait. No, sir, Mr. Donner, life is too short. From now on, we either make models out of models or I quit. Quit? Baby, you quit and I'd be out of business. Down, charm boy. I've made up my mind. No more experimenting. But, Doris, Goodbye, honey. Mr. Donner. Okay. Okay. No more oddballs. You promise. Promise? No more oddballs. All right. Hey, Pat! Pat, I thought you were going to fix this thing. What's the matter, Bob? Is she goofing on you? Yeah, the ignition's done. Yeah. From now on, we either make models out of models or I quit. Let's have a look. Flip the hood catch, will you? Anything serious? Mmm, I don't think so. Try it again, will you? Okay, hold it. There you go. What was the matter? Oh, just a little trouble in your press got in there. Well, see you around, fella. Well, thanks again. Oh, sure thing. You're new around here, aren't you? Yeah. Just helping Pat out, huh? Yeah. I'm her sister. Well, quite a mechanical family. Yeah. Just comes naturally. Rather unusual to find two such attractive girls interested in motors. Uh, we love them. Most pretty girls have the theater or movies. Uh, modeling is their goal. Oh? Did, uh, did you ever think of becoming a model? Model? Nope. Ever since I was a kid, it's been cars with me. Didn't you have any little dolls? Oh, sure. But it was their buggies I was interested in. Hmm. A real mechanic at heart, huh? <laughs> yep, I guess so. Well, what do I owe you? Uh, forget it. Well, thanks again. Oh, yeah, sure thing. Such pretty hands. You'd never think they did a day's work. Uh, uh, it's the axle grease. <laughs> Better than lanolin. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I must tell Elizabeth Harden. Uh, sorry, Bub. I, I, I need this hand to work on the um, thingamajigs. And the uh, whatchamacallits, too? Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everything's a mess under here. Well, uh... Look, Mac, at least let me buy you a drink. What time do you come out for Monday? About uh, five-ish. Just in time for cocktails. Is it a date? Sure. I'll down a couple of beers with you. Great. See you at five, fella. Oh, oh uh, what's your name? Bambi. What? Liz. Glad to meet you, Liz. <laughs> Mine's Mike. Hi, Mike. Mike Donner. Oh. I, uh, I have the Donner Model Agency. Yeah. Ever heard of it? Well, uh, no, I can't say that I have. <laughs> A lot of my models are in vogue. Hmm? 
Well, sorry, around here we only read popular mechanics. I see. Well, don't take any wooden nickels, Liz. Roger. I can't get over how quickly you fixed my car this afternoon. <laughs> Just all in a day's work, that's all. What is the matter with it? Well, uh... Do you know anything about engines? Not a thing. Well, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, have you got a pencil? Oh. Now, you're sure you don't know anything about engines? Sorry. <laughs> well, now, uh, right here is the, uh, the hood. That's in the front of the car. Thanks. And there's the, uh, fender. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the wheel, right there. That's the wheel. Yeah. And then the, uh, radiator cap. Well, not just a minute. Eh? Not so fast. Uh, uh. The hood. Yeah, that's right. Fender. It's the fender. Mm hmm. Wheel. Mm hmm. Radiator cap. That's very good. Now, there's I'm the wood. I'm a fast study, but I think that's about all I can absorb for right now. Uh, oh. Tomorrow night, we could take up the more uh, technical aspects of the machine, like the thingamajig and the uh, whatchamacallit. Uh, you're holding my hand. You're holding my pencil. Oh, well. Mike. Yeah? Do you think I should cut my hair shorter? Why, is it catching in the machinery? No. But you're supposed to be an authority on such matters. Do you think I'd look better with my hair shorter? You look great to me, fella. You know, one of these years when you had nothing better to do, why don't you try to make a model out of me? Well, I must admit, there are times when I wish you weren't a mechanic. There are. Mm-hmm. Like right now, for instance. I'd love to fake some motor trouble and have to pull off the side of the road. But... Uh-oh. What? Listen, listen. Huh? Trouble? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm afraid so. Yep. Yeah, it's in the thingamajig. You better pull over and I'll take a look at it. Well, uh, what about that spot with the view? For a little motor trouble. <laughs> Oh, I wish I wouldn't giggle that way. Why? I like it. Well, you never have your models giggling. Oh, Not even my. smiling, for that matter. Uh, my models are just mannequins. They're not real. They're not supposed to be. They're just racks to hang clothes on or blank faces to stick cigarettes in. Now, whatever brought that subject up? I think the subject of our jobs makes for a very interesting conversation. Speaking of jobs, I, I wonder if you could drop up to my office tomorrow afternoon. Well, that is, if you can. If I can. Oh, sure. You got a job for me? Several. Oh. Oh, Mike, that's wonderful. Well, that ends this ball game. I believe I'm right when I say this makes three times this season that Bob Wolf has... Yes, Doris. Miss Wadling, good to see you, Sahi. Send her in. Break up this ball game. Hello there. Hi. Well, can I use you? <laughs> well, I'm all ready to go to work. Good. Now, the, uh... The television's on the blink, and the radio doesn't work at all, and the inner office communication's completely shot. I, uh, I had some tools brought up there here on the desk. Oh, yes, uh, while you're here, uh, the dictaphone needs fixing, too. It, uh, it all works on that, uh, button thingamajig there on the desk. Oh, but you'd know much more about that than I would. Excuse me? Oh. Interoffice communication. Yeah. Mr. 
Mr. Donner, you asked me to make a two o'clock appointment for Miss Wadlington with the Vogue photographers. It's almost that now. Mm, well, you better call them and tell them she'll be a little late. What is all this nonsense? What are you waiting for? The little lady to come clean. Come clean? She's not some sort of a criminal. No, just a minor case of false representation. Mr. Donner, you promised me that, that there would be... I was be... going to make models out of models. As soon as she declares herself, I'll do just that. Running neck and neck at the clubhouse turn. But she can't possibly make it. What's the next appointment you can give her? when I see one. I should. In the Army, I was an aeronautical engineer. But you know something? They never taught me that fascinating thing about the hood and the wheel. Wait a minute. You said you didn't know anything about motors. Well, I had to do a little lying to keep up with you. Oh. I also know a model when I see one. I spotted you that first day in the office. I was going to call you. Really? Did you really think I'd make a good model? I still do. But I've got an office full of models. Oh. Do you know what I really need, Liz? Why? What does a bachelor always need? My God. Uh, 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 Mr. Donner. No, no. Uh. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Mr. Donner. Mr. Donner, Miss Wadlington must not be late for her first appointment for the Vogue photographers. Mr. Donner. Cancel it. Cancel it? But Miss Wadlington, it's for Vogue. Now, here again is Miss Young. Thank you. Very often our shortcuts take us the longest way home. Well, good night. See you next week.